ZK9 doing the chasing. Maybe it's because they knew the race would be over before it started if he was out in front. So you think the guy's just showing off? Whoa. Tell you one thing. The guy driving that 8-6 knows what he's doing. You got that right. I mean, he just shot through there like this was some kind of straightaway. I expected that Daiki would want to lead. But he chose to chase instead. An impressive decision, and a really smart one. Hey, bro. Yeah? When you jumped on the phone with Fujiwara right before the race started, you told him something. What was the advice? I wouldn't go so far as to say I gave him advice. I just had two basic instructions to give him. And they were? Not to look into his rearview mirror. No matter what, don't look into it until the first heat is over. Wait, what do you mean? I don't see how that would improve his timing in the race. Didn't some idiot last night spout off about racing other teams being fun? Yeah, right. They've got to be kidding me. This guy could compete in a race with the Toto School guys right now and give them a real run for their money. Who the hell is he? It just doesn't make sense. I don't think there's been anyone in the Toto School's history who could drive this well on a course after practicing for just one night. And we're the best there is. Of course, I have no idea how much his engine's been tuned. But I know that it revs just as high as my car's B16B engine. The sucker corner's tighter than an L-bracket. That car isn't an 8-6. Does this mean that even an FR can run like this if you have it tuned properly? You might have been on a winning streak before, using that car in all those away races. But it looks like your luck has run out. You're on our turf now. This is the home course of the Toto School. He's been trashing the guy's 8-6 this whole time. He must have put something together in that head of his right before the race, because his whole attitude changed. That had to be why he agreed to be the chaser. Hmm. If it would have been me in that car, I'd like to think I would have made the same call. 
I'd want to see how these guys, who are supposedly the fastest in Gunma, drive. Best way to do that is to follow right behind them. And if the dude couldn't do any better than a half-assed performance, I'd just blow right past him and put a period on the end of the race. You have a point there, Sakai. And isn't Daiki supposed to be the best driver among the current students? What's he good at, anyway? Well, make of it what you will, but Daiki's good at braking. <gasps> I know what you mean. It may not sound that impressive, but... It's actually an excellent skill to have. There's no better weapon at your disposal on the downhill. As a Toto school student, you should have been taught that on day one. He's gonna be the one chasing. I want you to listen to me very carefully, Takami. I don't want you looking into that rear view until the first run is finished. I want your focus on mastering the course. If you drive like you normally do, you shouldn't have any trouble not being passed. You understand? This is very important. Do not look back. I think I figured out what's going on with this 8-6. It runs a whole lot better than I expected. But I still don't think it's enough to worry about. My school's reputation is on the line. I need to end this before the second run. But that means passing him somewhere. I'll have to create the opportunity by pushing him. I can't wait to see how long he can hold out with me. and both those dudes are gonna crash. Everyone knows that in this class of cars, the FFs are just playing faster than the FRs. But on top of that, my car is the ultimate. It's the Type R. I can't be collecting dust behind this 8.6 for very long. I'm ending this thing on the first run. As a driver brakes going into a corner, the moment that he lets his foot up and stops braking is way more important than when he pushes down to start. The moments of deceleration and acceleration need to be precise, calculated. Too soon or too late, and they can both lead to a loss of time. A driver with a killer technique can always find his way out of a mistake that he makes. But on any given corner, there's only one perfect place to let off that brake. Even the best drivers out there can't recover from screwing that up. Yeah, that's true. Chief always said braking is the most difficult technique to master when it comes to driving a car. No other technique can even come close to it. He's a smart man. Daiki's expertise is in determining just where that point is in a corner. No matter how long he's had his foot on the brake, he yanks it off right on the money every single time. He's never early and never late. He's a natural. I can't explain it any other way. It's all instinct. Listen up, Daiki. These days, anti-lock braking systems are a standard in the racing world. Let you know how well that system's gotta work for everyone to use it. But here at the Toto School, we've made it a point to ditch it completely. No ABS. The first thing you gotta learn is how to brake without relying on all that crap. You can't figure out how to use the ABS until you've mastered the braking system without it. It's your first lesson, and I expect you to live and breathe it until you're breaking in your sleep. It's one of the chief principles of my school. be a center line on this road but the sucker is plenty wide i got my pick of places where i can pass this guy but every time i pull close using my braking i miss my chance to pass by a hair i had no clue that an fr could corner this quickly They 
must be crazy driving that close together. Seriously. Come on, they're that close because Needle Me is EK9 is way faster and he's just trying to get him out of the way. An 8-6 is too slow to be out here racing. You're wrong. I don't think it's that easy of an answer. There's no way you could stick that close to someone if they were driving slow. You don't stick so tightly to someone's bumper unless you have a lot of trust in the guy in front of you. If you ask me, the driver of that 8-6 has got to be incredibly fast. You really think so? Yeah. I've never seen Daiki stick so close to a bumper before, not even during a race between Toto school students. Guess the guy who always plays it cool is getting a little hot under the collar. His focus on the road is unbelievable. It doesn't matter how much I press this guy, I can't get any kind of reaction out of him. Even the students at school would show some kind of reaction if I went this far to pressure them. I don't even need to look into my rear view to know he's behind me and right on my bumper. I can feel the pressure against my back. It's almost painful. But once I made up my mind not to look back there, it made it a whole lot easier to concentrate on this course. Ryosuke only gave me two simple instructions. All I have to do is follow him. Okay, bro. So what's the other one you told him? Hmm? The other thing that you told Takami before he went out there. It's real simple. <laughs> Rev limiting. If you didn't know, that 8.6 of his revs up to 11,000 RPMs, but I told him to stay off the top 2,000 RPMs and that he should just resort to shifting up at the 9,000 mark. You can't be serious. Why would you have him do something stupid like that? because I didn't want him showing all of his capabilities to his opponent right out of the gate. After all, we both know Fujiwara isn't quite ready to play mind games just yet. In an effort not to cloud his mind with too much confusion and overthinking, this seemed like the best way I could get the results that I wanted. I know it's some risky business to hold back your abilities against an opponent of the caliber he's got tonight. But if he manages to hold his own and survive the first run, then I should be able to create a winning simulation. I'm aware it's an enormous gamble I'm placing. That's risky. He's staying ahead of the Toto school's downhiller, and he's got his top 2,000 RPM sealed off? When did he get the skills to attempt something like this? He's always had it. This guy can adapt to any situation you throw at him. What he's trying to do requires a degree of concentration greater than he's ever had to use. Makes sense. That's why you told him to keep his eyes off his rearview mirror. That way there's no chance he'd be affected by the pressure of his opponent bearing down on him and breaking his focus. crazy tonight. I made a big mistake by chasing on the first run. Every move I make looks like I'm struggling back here. Enough of what the 8-6 and its driver can do on the first run. 
I got this locked down. They don't have what it takes to beat me. They just don't have the speed. This will be over in seconds. got speed. No room for mistakes. I'm riding the razor's edge on this run. He's going at a pace that's a lot faster than the first time around. Am I really gonna be able to keep up with this guy? When Fujiwara is the one who's chasing, he holds a staggering degree of concentration. His ability to adapt to a pace he's never experienced before is greater than skill. It's more like instinct. If he's being pulled along by a local driver who's faster than he is, he'll methodically make the opponent's speed into his own. If this whole thing works out like my simulation says it will, then you should have no problem beating them. I'm counting on you, Takami. It's all on you now. figured out his top speed on that first run. I know I'm moving at a faster pace than that now. He shouldn't be able to keep up with me at all. What are you still doing back there? This is starting to scare me. I've never known a downhill to be this frightening before. If I let off the accelerator, I can release this fear. I know it. But there's this other part of me that's saying, whatever you do, don't let go. No way. <laughs> All right. So according to the guys at the first hairpin turn, there's no distance between the two. What? I don't understand this. I think we got a problem here. steady with a pace that's twice as fast as our first run. If Fujiwara can keep up, an interesting factor will emerge. It'll happen in the second half of the course and will be an enormous advantage. Any idea what that might be, Kenta? Uh, I mean, no. Uh, to be honest, the whole thing's kind of confusing. What about you? <laughs> I get the basic gist of what you're saying. <laughs> It's the difference between an FF and an FR. In an FR, it's the job of the rear tires to do all the acceleration. They push the car. Revolution! An FF overuses the front tires for both acceleration and cornering. A downhill race by its nature is already going to put stress on the front tires of a car. So that EK9, being a front wheel drive, is going to have its front tires give out first. Let's do it! This is bad. I thought I'd beat him on the first run, so I pushed my car way too hard. That was the biggest mistake I could have made. I put too much stress on my tires. This whole idea of rev limiting was part of a disturbance tactic. A driver with enough skill will be able to learn everything about his opponent's abilities simply by following behind him for enough time. Then he'll determine not only where to make his pass, how. So, the guy in front wears down his tires and his brakes even more. Exactly. That's really amazing, man. I guess I had no idea those two pieces of advice had such deep meanings behind them. The important stuff happens from here on out. The tires on the 8.6 won't last for much longer either. Everything now is left up to whether or not Takumi can capitalize on that advantage he's been given.
imagining this after all. His cornering is getting slower. Is it his tires? I wonder if they're starting to give out under the stress. Mine still seem to have plenty of grip, but who knows how long that'll last. It's time to pass this pathetic EK and put this battle to bed. If you were up there behind the wheel of the 8-6, where would you make the move to pass? There are places on any course where the more you push your car, the more difficult it is to find the right place to shift gears. I'm sure you've experienced this. I'm talking about those points like where you're heading into a corner and you hesitate for a moment while you decide whether or not to upshift. Yeah, sure, I know what you're talking about. When the tachometer's in the red zone, but there still isn't enough room left in front of you to shift gears and accelerate into the turn? When you're in a moment like that, you can't do anything else but wait it out. It's so annoying. Talk about being tied down. You can't go faster. You can't slow down. You're just screwed. <gasps> That's it. That's what you were talking about. I think I get it, bro. It's all in the engine of the 8.6. It revs higher than the engine of the 8K9. That's the key to this whole thing. The whole point was to seal off his top 2,000 RPMs. You didn't want the guy from the Toto School to have any idea they were even there. That was it. What? He beat me. It's over. But breaking is my thing. It's what I do best. And he still passed me. Hey, man. I lost. I'm sorry, guys. Any idea how the hell that happened? I can't believe you'd actually lose on your home course. What's wrong with you? Gotta admit, I'm impressed, Fujiwara. I think you did one hell of a job out there tonight. I did it. I may have gotten caught up in the insanity of the moment and sweat bullets when I was strapped in. And it's not that often I see Ryosuke looking like that. He's happy. I must have lived up to his expectation this time. It feels good. Out there, Keisuke. I'm pulling for you. I'm ready. And I'm gonna push it to the limit on the very first run. Guys, we're gonna start the uphill now. 